Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. It has officially been one week since starting my new account, and so here I am. I'm collecting my three gems. I am level 21. So, in the last episode, we talked about how crazy level 20 was and everything that went on. Well, what happened in this episode, and you guys kind of missed it, and I missed it, the end of the the swamps and castle maze, it, it ended, okay? So unfortunately, I forgot to use my discount when the event ended, and that's just a natural part of playing the game. Sometimes you'll forget, so learn from my mistakes. Put an alarm, say, put on your alarm and say, check Monster Legends, because when the last, when it's the last hour of the event, I am pretty sure there's a 20% discount, and unfortunately, I missed it. So hopefully you don't miss it, because I missed out on a chance to get an epic monster along with some resources. Now what ends up happening is when the season, when the season, when the maze ends, you're basically going to be thrown into whatever event is currently going on in the game. So for example, the Magic Stone Island is currently going on. You can see the date right there, April 13th. The Survival Crowley Quest is going on. The Collector Breeding Event, there's a lot going on. The Limited Time Pathway for the current Mythic Monster. And what sucks is if I would have been able to start this maze as soon as it started, I would have been able to get this monster. I would have been able to get an epic, a, a mythic monster in a matter of three days, which would have been amazing. Because here's a little tip and trick about the maze. The maze does not discriminate by level. What I mean is whatever level you are, whether you're level 21 or whether you're level 150, you have the same chance to get the same number of maze coins because the number of maze coins is dependent on your actions, not what level you are. So unfortunately, I'm going to miss out on this and this is just one of those things that you also have to get comfortable. If you're new account and you see all of these events going on, you might get really sad that you can't do it. You kind of just have to put up with it and ignore it and just know that eventually you will be able to do all of this. You will be able to complete everything and you are going to be on your way. So right now, the most important thing continues to be panicking, panicking, Pandakin, just keep panicking gold farming. Take a look at my gold. I am at 13 million. My food is at 161,000. Granted, I did get a bunch of it because I ended the previous season on a pretty high league, right? For a new account, I ended on silver one, so I got 200k food. So that's why I have a lot of food. But yeah, just panicking, panicking everywhere. They're mostly level 12s or level 11s. Yeah, I think they're all level 12 at least, and then I'm slowly leveling some up. I did get some newer monsters. Look, I got a Sheluk. Level this little monster up a bit more probably take it to like level level seven's fine um i also got a a thundernex and a what's your name little buddy and a guy ram so g ram guy ram gyram key ram key ram i think um so yeah i got the point is i'm getting some more monsters and the primary reason i wanted to get monsters is because this time i am a part of a team war yay we're taking on the shadow beast and this attack will start in one hour and 38 minutes so just so everyone who is unfamiliar with team wars now you know how it works. There is a defense phase and an offense phase. In the defense phase, you have to put monsters to defend your team. So you can either feed the monster that's on defense, or you can change your monster. So currently, this is my only winged monster that I have. The other restriction is spirits, and the other restriction is magic. Currently, I don't have a magic monster. Currently, I don't have a spirit monster. If you're wondering, what do you mean by spirit? What do you mean by, well, magic, That these are elements. What do you mean by winged? Well, if you take a look at your library, the library has a book of different monsters. So for spirits, I would need the the light monster, the light common monster. I would need the common monster genie or any of these monsters. So that's how you can find out what books they're in. The thing about this current war we're in is that we're going to get slaughtered because just looking at the enemy, take a look. They have a legendary epics, uncommons, epics. So I doubt we're going to win because looking at my team, we just have a ton of thunder eagles, a ton of thunder eagles. So not going to win this one, but that's fine. Again, you're learning. You're just playing. I joined a team. It's, it's a random team, but... As long as I'm there, if you look at the chat, it's a lot of players just leaving and joining, leaving and joining. So not a very active team, I think, but you know, just be a part of something. Again, the number one thing I recommend is to join Discord, join Facebook, join a community of active players. That's the best way to go about it. Um, so anyways, even though I can't get a monster in the Duel and Honor Maze, I am still going to move. I am still going to get some resources. What you, I might probably go for Callisto. I might be able to get Callisto. What you should know is that whenever you're playing the game, assuming you're playing this in the future, um, there's going to be a different event. It's not going to be the Magic Stones Island. It's not going to be the um, the Honor and Castle Maze, whatever it's called, the Duel and Honor Maze. It's going to be whatever event is currently going on for long-term players. So, with that being said, I also finished my Legendary Habitat. Take a look. My Legendary Habitat is here. It's ready. It's level 1, but that's fine. I don't need it level 2 yet. That costs 10 mil to upgrade. And I will soon have Marquis de Flambe in 13 hours. So tomorrow when I play the game, I'm going to be able to hatch him and I will be good to go. 
and I am just breeding another monster. It'll be ready in 15 minutes. And yeah, this is exciting. The next upgrade costs 100 gems. Currently, I don't need it. And the other breeding cave, the ultra breeding cave, that one, I'm waiting for discounts. I don't know if there's going to be a discount. I hope there is a discount. Where is it? The ultra breeding tree. I hope there's a discount for this. I know when I played, there was a time when it was 100 gems. There was a time when it was 75 gems. So for now, I'm going to keep saving my gems. I see a lot of comments of people asking like, Hey, armor, I'm level like 40 and I have 300 gems. What do I do? Honestly, save, 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 save. That is what you do. Now, I noticed I have this fire boost. All right, this is awesome. So we'll talk about this. Oh, I actually have a builder. So the fire boost and I probably have a nature boost too. Let me see. Do I have a nature boost or not yet? I probably start with the fire boost, right? Um, water boost, dark boost, um, temp earth, temple, nature. Oh, so that one I, I get at level 24. So basically, let me go ahead and place this. And right now, I'll just place it here. Okay. And it takes... Oh, man, it takes a whole day. It takes a long time. Wow, that gives you a lot of experience points. 500k, what level am I? Wow, that's going to give me 500k. Basically, this boost increases the gold production of your monsters within a certain vicinity. So, ideally what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my habitats like probably one layer over. See, so like there's four spaces in between now. So if I move it one layer over, maybe this one move it somewhere here. Basically, I just need to move it and I need to make sure that fire habitat is probably somewhere in the middle. Somewhere like right here. This is where I want the fire habitats so they can get a lot of these panicking farms. Because panicking is a fire monster and that's a fire boost, my panicking will increase their rate of production, which means my habitats will fill up faster. So that's what I want to work on. I want to put fire boosts and eventually nature boosts, and that increases my rate of production. Another thing you can do to your monsters is to give them gold relics. Let's see if I have any. I don't have any. But basically, gold relics also increase the gold of production. Right now, personally, I don't think you need to put it on your panicans just because these things fill up pretty fast, like 21k gold. You'll be surprised how fast they fill. Because you look at one panicin, 70 a minute. You look at the other panicin, also 70 a minute. That's 140 minutes. So they fill up pretty fast. So in my personal opinion, there's no need to rush and do all the boosts. There's no need to um, rush and all that for in terms of, yeah, in terms of the boosts. What you should really start doing is keep upgrading, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You want these maxed out. Like, look at this one that's level 4. This level 4 one can hold 30k. Next, it can hold 40k. That definitely beats the 21k that these can currently do. And also, when you upgrade to level 3, to level 4. Wait, do you want to upgrade to level 4? When you upgrade to level 4, it costs food, but you can hold 3 panicans. So then you can go back to panicin to um, to making panicans, and that's what I'm going to spend tomorrow doing. And I'm just going to put start putting three panicans on each one, and then I'll get gold even faster and faster and faster, and that's going to be exciting. So right now I have a water habitat, I have a thunder habitat, and I have another water habitat. That's just so I can breed the new monsters. Honestly, I am just if I have two copies, I'm going to sell one and just keep one, and then I want to work on getting a habitat of the other ones. So I think I want to spend time... Which one am I missing? I think I need the dark habitat. I need to build that and the magic habitat. Remember what I said in a previous episode? You can actually make the habitat and then you can put it away in your storage. So look, I already have a magic habitat ready. So whenever I get a magic monster, bam, instantly I can just go ahead and place it. So so you probably want to do that on your own time. And um, with that being said, here, let's click on this. Um, what do I need to do? Can I do this? Maybe I can finish this off real quick. Fight. Auto. Ooh, I'm taking on a Varuna. Stun, combustion, that's one down. Oh, they killed my panicin. Combustion. Ooh, am I not gonna win? I don't think I'm gonna win this. Ah, I shouldn't have done auto. So I, I could probably beat it, so I'll do that later. So good advice, don't lose, because then you gotta wait two more hours. But I mean, that's fine for me. I'm in no rush to do the magic stones outlet. If I could finish it, that'd be cool, but I'm in no rush to really do it. Um, so what else do we have to talk about here? Um, this is still upgrade 57 minutes. I will probably upgrade this just so I can start getting some level 3 runes. It only costs 600k, and I'm very good on gold, so that won't be too much of a problem. Um, PvP, I don't really need to do PvP much anymore, other than from spilling the, spinning the roulette wheel. It's not like I can get... Um, if I wish, I really wish I would have played when there was 70 hour challenge. That would have been nice. I could have maybe walked away with a couple legendary monsters, or some epic monsters that are ranked up. And if not, just some gems and other rewards. So depending on when you play, it'll really... You'll either be really lucky, or maybe unlucky. So yeah, I wish I would have played during the 72 hour challenges. But with that being said, it's going to be completely different for everyone. It's going to be just so, so different. Here, let's burn everyone. And maybe do a little stun. Stun, deep lash, biomass, that's a heal skill. 
Let's burn you again. Let's burn you again. You'll die with burning. Let's burn you over here. And then that's two. Of All three of them are burned. Let's burn you. You might die with the dots. Um, let's go ahead and actually let's just finish you off. Lunge punch. Nuke tie. Stun you again. I don't want to lose a panda kin. Um, we'll do combustion. Nope. Panda beats. Panda beats. Panda beats. And a panda beats. And yeah, again, no reason for me to do PvP, so I might lay off the PvP. I think for now I want to stay in this league just for, for all the food. Because I know food is definitely something I'm going to need moving forward. Um, life is going to become so much easier once I have my flambe. So that'll be good. I wonder if I can upgrade this to the next one. Um, requires level 24, so no upgrading anytime soon. But yeah, like I said, like if I want to, I could do some adventure map and kind of breeze through the level ups. But there's no reason to level up. And if anything... I, I, I guess I just want to emphasize, you do want to stay as low level as possible, a, a low level as long as possible, and because there's no reason to level up, just take it nice and easy. Please don't rush through the levels, because honestly, if you want to, if you just do Adventure Map, the amount of experience points you'll gain is pretty massive, and you'll start leveling up and up and up, and eventually you do get gems when you beat some of these boss nodes, and a good amount of gems, but I personally don't think you need to do it. I think once you've established yourself, once you've reached the maximum... Um, see these events right here. I already got my 10 gems. When you're like level 90 or probably even before, maybe 80, you need to feed, you need to collect like an enormous amount of food, like 200 million. Like 200 million, it's insane. Like my accounts can barely do it. My main accounts can barely do it. Even with like the Golden Pass. Now the Golden Pass, it actually became a lot easier. But without the Golden Pass, it was so, so hard. So please just trust me when I say take your time, take it easy, and you will be fine. In terms of the, the, the Legends Pass, let's see where I'm at. I can get 1,500 food, and I'm on my way to this building time boost. It's, this is going to help out a lot because then building stuff is going to be easier. So always be looking out. Is there any challenges I can do to make it go faster? So win a multiplayer battle with an earth monster. So maybe I should craft my earth monster. And that'll be 20 points. A metal monster. Metal monster I don't have quite yet, but I'll get 90 points. So maybe I should rush to that. Underworld, female, undead, superheroes, winter. Maybe I should look through the book, see if I have any of those. Craft three level five runes. Oh look, so I have some incentive to level this up. So yeah, that's probably what I'll spend tomorrow doing. But yeah, this is where we're at at the end of one week. So how is your account doing at the end of a week? Let me know in the comments below how much gold do you have at the end of the week? How much food do you have? Is there anything exciting? Were you able to get charmless? Did you maybe go for Marquis? Did you make the same mistake I did? Any and all thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. Every day remember to craft a rune because you are going to need it for your challenge. One thing I found out because I am actually rebuilding my monster lab, unfortunately in the goals, daily missions, one of my missions now became to buy from the monster lab, where is it, buy cells at the monster lab, but I can't do it until it's rebuilt, so that's unfortunately going to stay uncompleted, but once I can finally start doing that, I also got the, where is it, I also get this, I get two cells for this monster every time. So that's exciting. Breed a monster. I, I'll get 5k. Explore dungeons. So I can just do the dungeons. Oh, let's see how where I'm how I'm doing in the dungeons. I believe resource dungeon. Skip that. Yeah, so again, you're going to see all the new stuff that long-term players see. For now, just really try to ignore it. Don't worry about it too much. Quest days, I can't do that. Golden food and gold. Look, I can now make it to 62% before I start losing. So that's exciting. Before I couldn't even make it to the 50% mark. Now it's legendary monsters and they beat me. But it's nice to know that I'm slowly and slowly getting better. Here, we'll stun you. Oh, stun is blocked. Why are you stun blocked? Oh, I'm to control. Um, combustion, I should have stunned you. Nuke tie. Oh, he was possessed. So yeah, um, this is not a team I can beat. Maybe, even if I level up to 30, I don't think I can beat them. So 62% is still pretty cool. cool. Again, do not revive. Do not spend the 10 gems reviving. Trust me, it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Alright, so I make it to 62% there. Um, easy gems dungeon. So this is another reason why I want to work on getting newer monsters. So an epic, a light, and a dark. Okay, so I know for a fact that if I go here and I go to my storage, I actually do have an epic monster. So this is when I can start thinking, you know what, maybe I should start hatching the monster. And he's nature and earth, which I know I have a nature habitat. I know I have the food to level him up, so maybe I should focus on him. So the the easy the easy gems dungeon this will appear every Monday, and then it'll it'll last for Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday Thursday is the the medium gem dungeon, and then Friday is like the hard de gem dungeon I think. Actually I don't remember anymore, but it's something like that. So I'm um, definitely be sure you can do it, and 
And so that's why I did decide I am going to build one habitat of each other type of monster and I am going to start breeding. So that's why the first thing you should gem on, which was episode 10, is you should gem to upgrade your hatchery. And I might be tempted to upgrade it again. And even with this one breeding, I'll be able to do everything. It would be nice to have another builder, but since that is not really the big, big priority, I'm just going to stick with two and I'm just slowly going to upgrade everything when I have time. So when you're active, you can play, upgrade your nature habitats, right? And when you're going to sleep, upgrade the things that take a long time, right? You can always clear these eight hour ones when you sleep. Assuming you sleep for eight hours, you wake up one morning, those medium rocks are gone. You wake up another morning, that medium rock is gone. And before you know it, everything will be cleansed. Everything will be clear. Um, you can always take a look at what is the next one you're buying. So Island 3 is this one up here. This is Island 3 and then Island... No, wait, I'm wrong. This is Island 4? Wait, wait, which one looks like that? This is Island... Where's Island 4? This is Island 4. Yeah, this is this is Island 3. Sorry, this is Island 3. And this is Island... This is Island 4. Oh man, I have everything all mixed up. So that's Island 4. Island 5 is this one. Cost 10 mil. It's funny that I can already afford that one. So Island 3 right here. Island 4 right here. It's like a double Island. Island... Five over here I don't know what this one is for some reason I thought this one was next but yeah guys I think that is gonna be it for this video um if you have any questions let me know in the comments below I mean I probably won't get to them because I am just batch recording because I want to make sure to have plenty of content for this series I want to make a video per day so again this is day seven I'm excited to see where we're gonna be day 14 like at the end of two weeks what monster will I have what monsters want to have how far I can get into the game it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be a great adventure I hope you guys are joining me and with that being said, I will see you all next time. Remember to subscribe.